is Monday, and if you've seen my What's For Dinner videos, you know we usually have spaghetti on Monday. But today, we're gonna just deviate a little bit. So I've got some salsa verde chicken in here. This I cooked in the crock pot yesterday. We were supposed to eat it yesterday, but I forgot we had a lunch at church. So I just shredded it up, stuck it in the refrigerator, and we're gonna eat it tonight. So I'm just gonna warm that up. It's already cooked. It'll just take a few minutes to warm up. And then I'm also going to cook some jasmine rice to serve it over it. Um, I love jasmine rice. I get this from Trader Joe's. So if you saw it in my Trader Joe's haul, I bought a bunch of these to stock up. So we're gonna go ahead and warm this up for dinner. some homemade pico de gallo salsa fresh from the garden last night we've got quite a few um or quite a bit extra so i'm gonna go ahead and just put some on top because it's the fresh tomatoes it'll just allow it to have a really nice flavor is it hot so we're almost out of chips so we'll just have to eat them on top like crumbs It is Tuesday night and we're having spaghetti tonight. I'm going to start by cooking some green beans. I picked these yesterday from our garden. So I need to start out by snapping them and get them started in the Instant Pot. So I've canned 37 quarts of green beans so far this year, which is really exciting. The green bean plants are definitely slowing down and I've only been picking about this much, maybe once a week. Not really enough to can. I don't wanna run the canner for like only one or two jars. So we just eat these ones fresh. They definitely have slowed down, so I don't know how much more we'll be getting because they're kind of dying off out there and really slowing down in production. I do mine in the Instant Pot for 10 minutes. I like cooking my green beans in the Instant Pot because it's a lot quicker. If you do it on the stove top, it takes at least 30 minutes. So I just like to do that because I always forget to start way ahead of time. So let's go ahead and work on the spaghetti now. I just made a mess everywhere of <laughs> pasta noodles. <gasps> So I'm cooking two different um, pastas. I'm cooking whole wheat spaghetti and then also the little curly pasta because I don't have enough for this for everybody. And we just had this last week. The kids don't mind this, so I'll give this to Simeon and then just give that one to the kids. mostly gluten free. I'm going to make myself some zucchini noodles. I've never done it with zucchini before, but I have this little zoodle maker. I'll link this down below. It's also in my Amazon storefront. And I do white sweet potato pasta with this, but this is gonna be my first time. Now this is not zucchini from our garden. The squash bugs completely destroyed our zucchini. So um, this was from a lady at church. I've been giving her my peppers and some extra tomatoes. And so she's been giving me her zucchini. I'm zoodling those up. I'm gonna put some olive oil in my cast iron skillet, let that heat up, and I'll just saute those in there. When I get down closer to this, I'll use the little twist. And you can twist it like this, but it's a lot easier to just hold it still and then spin it like this.
I'm gonna go get these scraps to the chickens. They love zucchini. While my zucchini is sizzling away, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my sauce. I have some frozen ground beef with onions. Oh, I thought I had peppers in there. I guess there's no peppers. And then I have some roasted red pepper and tomato sauce from the garden. So I made this last week, Friday, when we had pizza and I had some leftover. This stuff is so good. I have a recipe video coming for this, so be watching out for it. It is so good. Homegrown tomatoes and red peppers from the garden. It's not really that much. We're gonna try to stretch it out as much as we can. And this is not canned, by the way. I just put it in a canning jar and stuck it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna add a little water just to get the rest of this out. Also thin down the sauce just a little bit to stretch it out further. I also have some homemade sourdough bread. <laughs> Look at that, I kinda made a funny little mark there. The plastic wrap kind of came off in the refrigerator, so it is a tiny bit stale, but we're gonna toast it up and put some garlic butter on there and it'll taste really good. it is my zucchini noodles or zoodles with our homemade roasted red pepper and um, tomato sauce homegrown green beans and homemade sourdough bread so it is Wednesday and it is 11 o'clock and I need to get an early start on dinner because we're gonna be super busy this evening we have a play date at the park at 4 30 we're gonna play for a little while come home eat dinner really quick, and then rush out tonight to our church community group. So I wanted something in the crock pot that we can just have cooking and ready to go for when we, for when we get home from the park. It is cold and fall, soup weather. I love soup, I could eat soup literally every single night. And so I thought of making beef stew because we have tons of carrots from the garden. And um, that would just be something that's really nice to have in the crock pot because we're gonna be playing at the park in the cold um, and it'll just, just be really nice to come home to some warm soup. So last night I took out some stew meat and it's been thawing in the refrigerator. I think it's still slightly frozen in the middle, but that's okay. I'm gonna fry it up in my cast iron skillet before putting it in my crock pot. This here is grass fed beef that we get here locally. We've been buying, I don't know, I think this is like our sixth year, buying half a cow's or whatever, and it's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this in my cast iron skillet. I need to wash my cast iron skillet because I made French toast this morning and forgot to wash it. So let's wash that really quick and then we're gonna start browning our meat. I'm just gonna put some olive oil in my cast iron skillet and let it preheat while I open my meat. I've got two pounds here. Um, it's been a while since I made beef stew, but last time I did I only used one pound and it was not enough. So I got out two packages um, this time and hopefully it'll be enough. I usually go through and cut off the bits of fat, but I'm gonna be lazy today and not do that because it's still kind of frozen 
and I don't want to take the time to do that, so it'll be totally fine. We can just pull it off in our soup bowl if it's a problem. cooking I'm gonna go ahead and start scrubbing my potatoes dicing my onion and then look at all these carrots this is like a third of our carrot harvest so far we have some beautiful carrots lot of potatoes it's because it is so these two I'm actually gonna go ahead and stick in the oven to bake for tomorrow night's dinner which I'll talk about that tomorrow but since I'm scrubbing potatoes and I need these baked today and chilled we're just gonna bake them now but I'm gonna chop up these for our um, stew peel my carrots but I'm gonna just kind of peel them to take some of this off and then I'm gonna save the peels for making um, veggie broth and bone broth I'm just gonna stick it here in the Ziploc bag that I keep in the freezer and I just keep adding my veggie scraps to it so that way when I go to make my bone broth I can just Throw it all in there. Pour just a little bit of water in there just to give it some more juice and then I'm also gonna add some parsley and I've got this on high and then I'll just check it later on when we go to leave and if it needs to be moved to low then I will all plated up it looks and smells delicious this is the leftovers here so you can see how um, liquidy it is it's not very liquidy at all that's because we eat it more in like a chunky stew with not a lot of liquid so I'm just putting the leftovers in a container and I just thought I would show you that and it was super flavorful and absolutely delicious it is Thursday night and tonight we're going to be having breakfast burritos for dinner. I'm going to take these potatoes that I baked up last night and have been chilling in the fridge and I'm going to cube them up along with some peppers from the garden and some onion. Now sometimes I make this with raw potatoes and I just cube them up. It takes a little bit longer to cook because you have to cook the potato to soften it and fry up the outside. So if I think ahead and try to plan ahead, then I will bake up some potatoes for this because all I have to do is just kind of fry them up and it's a lot quicker this way. I like to add this mushroom umami seasoning from Trader Joe's along with salt and pepper. It just gives it a really nice flavor. I don't put too much of this in because it does have red pepper flakes and makes it a bit spicy, but it just really gives it a nice flavor.
While the potatoes are still frying, I'm going to prepare my eggs. Now you can make this without meat like I am doing. You can definitely add any type of meat. Sometimes I add bacon, but today we're just gonna be doing eggs and potatoes. So I'm gonna just mix up some eggs, set that aside, and I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking some of the tortillas. We get these from Costco. If you've seen in my Costco haul, then you know that these are a staple. So while those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and chop some tomato from the garden. Is our dinner we've got the tortillas in here and this towel to keep them warm we've got our potato peppers and egg mixture we've got some tomatoes from the garden cheese and salsa that I canned last year So this is our dinner tonight. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you tuck both ends in or just one end in. I was gonna cook re green beans on the side, but I totally forgot because I'm canning. And yeah, so this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Friday, we decided to have a little family fun day. So we went hiking in a nearby canyon to look at all the beautiful fall colors. So we went hiking for just a little bit and then we went straight over to In-N-Out. We had a gift card that somebody had given us. So we decided to go ahead and just eat there. It's a really affordable place and it's absolutely delicious. The kids love eating there and no, it's not a homemade meal, but it is a special treat that we do every once in a long while. So it is Friday morning and I'm getting ready uh, for probably tomorrow night. <clears throat> I have something else planned for tonight. We're actually on our way to go hiking with some friends this afternoon or this morning. <laughs> so I wanted to marinate some chicken for tomorrow. I don't think we'll eat it tonight. I don't know. We'll see what we're up to for dinner tonight uh, versus tomorrow. But anyways, so I have some of this roasted garlic salad dressing I got at Sprouts. I don't like it as a salad dressing, it's not very good. So I'm just going to pour it on my chicken here in the bag. This is kind of frozen, so this is where I'm thinking we'll have this tomorrow instead of tonight. And I'll stick it in the fridge and let it marinate. So I just put a tiny bit of water in here and I'm gonna shake it up just to kind of get the last of the seasonings and stuff in there. It is Friday night and we've got lots of leftovers here. We have tons of leftover spaghetti, so I think I'll make some of this for the kids. This is like way more noodles than sauce, but that's okay, I'll give them that. And then we have some zucchini. We also have lots of leftover beef stew. Me and Simeon will probably eat that, as well as some leftover cooked green beans. So that is what we're gonna have for dinner tonight because it's been a long day and I just figured we'd eat leftovers. And look at this, look my brand new stove, you guys. First sneak peek here. Well, actually, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already saw a sneak peek. But how cool is this? Oh man, I love it. So we still need to do event hood up here and I'm still getting used to this, trying to figure out, cause it's a gas stove. We had a um, electric one before. So I'm trying to get used to like the burners and the heat and everything. We've been without a microwave for about two years now and I don't really miss it honestly, but for warming up stuff, I just either do it in our toaster oven or just do it on the stove top like I'm doing here. Little trick, I always add water to pasta sauce, even like the jarred store-bought stuff is what my mom used to do growing up. Whoops, Oh, I just got my new stove all dirty. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna pour that in there and what that does is it just gets the rest of the sauce in there and makes a little bit more liquidy so I can spread it around. So 
still got a cantaloupe from the garden, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up. So here is our dinner. I just threw the leftover zucchini in there. So we've got leftover pasta. We have leftover beef stew, green beans, and sourdough bread, and then also some cantaloupe. So this Sunday, we just got home from church. It's almost 12.30, and we like to have our big meal of the day um, Sunday afternoon. So I always prepare to have that big meal after we get home from church. So we're gonna start out with some green beans. These are just the rest of the beans that you saw me snap um, earlier this week. So I'm just gonna cook them in my Instant Pot with some water and salt. So here is that garlic chicken that we marinated yesterday. It's all nice and thawed and has been marinating for um, a little more than 24 hours. So we're just gonna let this sit out till we're ready to put it on the grill. to preheat the grill for like, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. Um, not too long, it usually heats up pretty quick. So normally I like to chop up some potatoes and roast them on the grill with some seasonings, or we'll do baked potatoes or something along with the grilled chicken. But I am so tired, I don't feel like chopping up potatoes and it's gonna take longer than the chicken to cook. So we're just gonna eat potato chips on the side because I'm super tired, feeling lazy today, and that's just what we're gonna do. All right, let's go ahead and go get this chicken on the grill. our lunch spread. We've got fresh green beans from the garden, some more cantaloupe from the garden, grilled chicken with a garlic marinade, and being lazy and serving it with potato chips. It is Sunday night and we're frying up some Canadian bacon. We have some homemade English muffin, sourdough English muffins being toasted in there. Simeon's gonna fry up some eggs and I am going to make a smoothie, which I haven't made a smoothie in a while. So we have some bananas, some frozen kale, uh, pineapple, blueberries, cherries, and then the mix-ins are the uh, collagen powder, chia seeds, and spirulina powder. So I'm going to put the everything but the bagel seasoning on the eggs. I cut up some carrots from our garden. Look at these beautiful purple carrots and then we have some orange ones. And we have the pine nut roasted hummus from Costco to dip them in. So that is it for this week's of meals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.